Hey, hey, YouTube. How's everybody today? How are we all doing? Um, it's been a while. Uh, how long's it been? A couple of weeks? Thereabouts? Um, I've been a bit slack, if I'm honest. Uh, last week, I lost a, uh, a very dear friend. Um, a very dear friend. Uh, after he... Uh, he lost his battle with cancer, unfortunately. Although he uh, he had had quite a good innings. He was uh, he was in his eighties, so he'd had a good innings, and he was fully aware of what was going on and what was uh, what was coming. So, but um, it doesn't ease the pain, does it? I mean, we were very good friends. We were flying buddies for years, and uh, he's left a very big. A very big gap um, that unfortunately I don't think I'll fill. So I've been a bit out of sorts for the last week. Um, so do apologise if I'm a bit uh, a bit here and there. But um, yeah, I'm I'm getting over it. It's part of life. So I thought um, let's go out and do a video. Let's go out and do a video. And uh, before we start, shout out to uh, Pender. Good mate, Pender. And uh, Breck. Breck. My number one fan. Um, over there in the... Oh, I should have asked when I messaged him. Is it Netherlands? Uh, I think it's Netherlands. Finland. That way. I do apologise if I'm wrong. Breck, I apologise. Uh, it's actually quite bizarre, really, that Breck started watching my videos and um, he obviously went back looking through the videos and realised that I also fly RC planes and how bizarre that he does as well. And um, we both have a love of Nepenthes and we both fly RC planes. How bizarre is that? Uh, and I said today, we are clearly brothers from different mothers. So, uh, yeah, he's my number one fan, Breck. Um, how you doing, buddy? Always good to uh, always good to speak to you. And then we've got uh, Ben. Oh, Ben up in there, Lancashire in Ben. Spoke to Ben earlier in the week. I just love his accent. I really do love his accent. Ben, you're a star. Um, he's a great lad. Uh, we had a bit of a chat on the phone. He uh, he bought one of my uh, one of my many seedlings, and uh, we had a bit of a chat on the phone. And I do, I just love his accent. So Ben, shout out to you, mate. Uh, Dom uh, over there in Germany. If you're still watching, I haven't spoken to you for a while. I haven't heard from you for a while. Hopefully you're still watching. Scotty, my uh, Scotty, my main man, down there in Essex. Keeping uh, keeping it real down in Essex. Timmy. Timmy. Over in Shrewsbury. My, uh, my good buddy, Tim. And Tim, down in Bristol. Shout out to Timmy in Bristol. Uh, another good lad. Uh, who else have we forgot? Ange. Ange. Um, we've got Ange. It's uh, good old Ange. Keeping up the uh, keeping up the female side. Um, representing. Who else? Who else haven't I mentioned? Uh, this God Dan. Tree fellow Dan. Um, Ian. If you've uh, if you've watching, Ian Salter, um, I know he has watched a couple of more videos. Uh, Big Dan, we've still got to uh, got to sort out a date. And how could I forget Amori? My main man Amori and his son dropped in to see me last week, and uh, it was fantastic. We had a great time. Um, he came to see the uh, collection, brought his uh, his lad along with him, 
and uh, I think he was uh, <laughs> I think he was a little blown away by uh, what's in the, what's in here and he seemed to spend a lot of time just gazing into the plants into the green uh, beyond so Amori yeah big shout out to my man there and uh, we are doing it again he is going to come up again and see Jade if you're watching Zaid uh, yes we'll um, we'll sort out a day come up and have a look sorry I didn't reply I got sidetracked um, I'm not ignoring you I I got sidetracked with some of the stuff so I will reply and we will sort out a date and you can come up and have a mooch around I'm sure you won't go home empty handed um, so yeah definitely so let's um, let's kick off shall we we're already six minutes in grief where's that gone uh, so, you may notice, or you may have noticed, things have changed a little. Um, I, I got, I walked in here the other day, and I tripped over, uh, apart from nearly breaking me hip, and, and giving myself some serious injuries, um, I've got, I had, there were plants over the floor, there were plants everywhere, and you'll, you'll have probably noticed I've got a serious, um, a serious space issue, however, I can't stop putting plants in here, it's, I've got a really bad, um, problem, I know I've got no room, but I keep buying plants, and I've got nowhere to stick them, but I keep buying them. I know I'm not normal. I know I'm not the only one. Uh, you see a plant, you have to have it. You've got to buy it. I oh, know, I oh, know. I can't help it. And I sympathise with anybody that has got the same problem that I've got. I really do. <sighs> so, um, after falling over and nearly breaking my neck, I thought, right, things have got to change. So you may have noticed there's some differences kind of here and there. So what I realised was I've got a lot of small plants on here. Loads of big plants on here. The smaller shelf, I've got, I've got loads of big plants on the smaller shelf. We know where to put them. Loads of small plants on the massive shelf. And I thought, well, yeah, that, that don't make sense. So... Uh, after a big swap around, I've now got a lot of the smaller plants on here, and we'll have a look at them in a second. And I've shoved a lot of the bigger plants over to here, and we'll have a look at them in a second. So um, I've, I've also dropped the temperature in here um, by another couple of degrees. Um, and I'll tell you why I've noticed since dropping the temperature by simply a couple of degrees over well I, I did it about two weeks ago so i'm running in here now on average around 20 22 on average daytime um down at the bottom down there we're lower than that we're averaging 16 in the day and dropping at night to 10. So down that bottom corner there where the helium four are, the Velosa, it's it's Highland Heaven down there. Up here we are Yeah, we're Highland. And then if I turn around, this shelf here for some reason, and I don't quite know why, this shelf runs in the daytime around 26, 27 averaging, it's maxing out. Hence the reason why. All my lowland stuff that's up here, like the Clipiata, the Mirabilis uh, Varglobosa, the um, Baikal, uh, they're all growing, the, all the Truncatas, they're all growing really happily because the temperature up here is a good two or three degrees higher. 
Um, so all the, all the lowland stuff is, is happy as Larry up here. It's not ideal, obviously. Uh, they'd like it up in the 90s, but it's it seems to be enough for them to 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 grow and, and to grow quite happily you know um, I don't know what the I don't know what the difference between growing and thriving would be but I mean they're putting out cracking new leaves uh, we're getting pictures we're getting nice pictures um, so I'm not going to complain uh, if it ain't broke don't fix it is my um, philosophy but I had to do something with this lot so this is what's happened uh, you'll notice the VTI tree has gone from this side and has now moved over to that side so I've got two two trunks coming down there all the VTI I think that looks better actually I don't know what you think it looks a little a little more kind of like it should be there and clearly, clearly, things are happy um, because we're getting some beautiful, beautiful uh, new leaves. We're getting leaf jumps and new leaves all over the gaff. Uh, everything is new leaves. Another new leaf there. I huge leaf jump on the Alisa Patrona out this boat paddle fantastic uh, we've got another flower spike coming on Spathy, uh, spatulata spectabilis uh, yet another flower spike um, we've got what's this at the back here this is platy burb we've got a stonking big uh, shiny new leaf on that um, new picture on the EP Maximum of Dark Trasmodiensis that popped open a couple of days ago. Looking good. I like that. Um, new leaves on Cheniana Vichioi and a, a cracking picture down there. Just uh, just on the working on that. Um, what else we got down here? Oh, we've got down here which I am desperately waiting for this to picture so I can show you this. Oh, um, another picture on the big trunk down here. Working on that. Uh, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? Uh, burb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember the burb? couple of videos ago that I unpotted to repot and ended up absolutely tearing the roots of pieces trying to get a trying to get rid of the umbrella moss that had completely pot bound it well she's now just popping out a brand new leaf I am really really chuffed with that um, it's uh, it's clearly got over its over its woes and uh, it's popped out a new leaf for me also got new leaves on peltata beautiful shiny new leaf on peltata and if i just come around here we've got i, I absolutely adore this plant oh we've got uh let me show you this this is um vchi supernova and you will notice it's missing something yeah been up to my old tricks and started moving stuff around ping there goes uh, the picture on that one and there was much uh, much shouting and swearing but check out this I am absolutely in love with this plant this is uh, Maxima Dark I believe um, I got this off Matt, Matt Richardson and just look at the wings and the frills on this thing it is amazing literally goes all the way up to the uh, up to the top and it, it it's so vigorous i mean this thing's printed out uh 
already putting out, and this is a cutting, and it's already putting out basil, it's a basil cutting, I believe. So it's already putting out basil there, it's starting another one here, and this is the main growth point. So I'll be nipping these pair off shortly and trying to root them. Um, but I'm absolutely, uh, I'm made up with that plant, and look at that beautiful big shiny new leaves on the top really really happy really happy so and the other thing oh look at this check this out look at the teeth on that now isn't that absolutely fantastic that there is ready for this I think it looks like uh, it, it re slightly resembles my Loei Edwardiana. It is actually uh, LVB VMV cross Eddy, and that thing is going to be impressive when it gets bigger. It really is. I know it. Um, so really chuffed with that. Really, really chuffed with that. Oh, um, there will be one more. Um, supernova seedling up for grabs uh, I may pop it on eBay um, if you are UK based and you're interested um, you can drop me a, drop me a message in the comments but that will that is up for sale it is for sale and it will be going on eBay at some point um, or it'll be going on marketplace, eat one or the other, but it, it will be sold shortly. So, uh, what else we got? Let's move this across. Sorry, I'm, I'm fighting through the uh, gorgeous Platy Bosch, which is now putting out these most fantastic uppers. I've got to say, I am really, really impressed with this plant now. The lowers were a bit, yeah, meh. Um, but the uppers, wow, just fantastic. And what we've got here, this is Burb Platy, which means that one over there is the um, Burb Fusca. It is actually a bee plant, uh, and it was sold as bee platycoila 3138, I think it was. Um, but then transpired that it was, uh, it had got Fusca integration, so. But this is, this is bird platy, and this is putting out a nice new leaf as well. Beautiful new leaf. And there is actually a new picture on this, if I just squeeze around here. There we go. Whoa, ho, ho, look at that. That is gorgeous. I really love this plant. That is absolutely fantastic. Stunning. Soak it in, folks. Soak it in. Gorgeous, but I love these pictures as well. How, how kind of furry they are. You get a thick line down the back as well. I don't know if that's typical of platycoila. Because I have noticed a lot of my platy crosses have got that thick line down the back. So let's just shove this uh, V-choy across a little. Uh, we can't do anything with this because it's stuck in the middle. So we'll just work our way through. Uh, we've got a new picture on 3734. Looking good. Looking really good. Chuffed with that. And right behind, we've got uh, Vichai Edwardsiana has put out its first picture. And she's, uh, she's definitely toothy. Definitely toothy. Look at that. Well impressed with that. And moving side to side, we've got, ow, bounce me off the light. 
uh, something else I was going to show you. It is Sung and Melancholy. This is a uh, Sung and Melancholy cross, and the pictures on this one, this particular plant, um, are stunning. Um, it's got more of a reddish body, pinkish reddish body, compared to. Um, now, this is an old picture, and look how brown that one is compared to that one and the green wings as well i've got a lot i've got around probably 50 of these um and they the 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 ones i've got the other ones i've got are displaying this kind of brown color on the body and i'm just hoping that they then change to this pinkish color because that brown is quite an old picture and then we've got two leaves and that pink color comes out so hopefully hopefully um, they do all turn out to be like that because that's uh, that's a winner winner chicken dinner there um, this is Maxima Campanula Art of Vichy on the wave number one Loio Vichy Boschio on a Vichy um, I only got I've only got a few of these that made it. I think I had about ten germinate, and I've I've been left with about four or five of these. But they do look promising. We have got striping, and they do look promising. So I'm just growing them out now uh, to see kind of what we get. That's another one there. And that one is just basil in like crazy. I think there's about three basils coming off that at the moment. So I'm going to separate them just to give myself a little bit, a, a few more to play with, really. Um, what we've got over here, this one's uh, Hampshire Carnivores, uh, Maxima by Trusmodiensis. Brand new leaf, growing really well. Um, that was put into cocoa chips and I have to say uh, I'm impressed with the properties of cocoa chips because within a few well I'll say within two weeks of being in cocoa chips that thing was settled and growing really well um, but uh, let's not take anything away from Akadama Kanuma Akadama Kanuma I don't think you'll beat it if I'm honest um, I've took it a little bit further by I now my acad uh, my Akadama Kanuma now is is Akadama Kanuma uh, pumice and crushed lava and I think it's a fantastic medium but I'm always I'm always messing about with other mediums and trying different things so at the moment cocoa chips is uh is high on my list of doing um uh, cocoa chips and also uh qua i don't know if i pronounced that right c-o-i-r which is like the cocoa husk not the husk the cocoa peat yeah cocoa peat that's it that mixed with perlite akadama kanuma pumice and, and lava rock makes a fantastic mix um, you can squeeze it together and it, it just literally falls apart in your hand um, fantastic stuff really light and airy so I'm always messing around with different mixes just to see um, what I get and what works uh, update on or update on the seeds check these out uh, these are growing really 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 well um, starting up here the blue is maxima wavy off my own plant um, then yellow which we've got are edwardsiana uh, so those, those are pollinated with edwardsiana pollen red is nebularum so there's some nebularum in there and then gold, we've got, I think, gold was Azumier. That, those haven't 
ground anywhere near as well and white down here is Trismardiensis again they don't seem to have grown as well as some of the others but saying that I do know that Trismardiensis are pretty short squat seeds not like uh, Maxima which are long thin seeds so I don't know it may it may just be that they are growing um, kind of shorter if that makes sense because the seeds are a different shape uh, I don't know we'll see and then black here we've got um, Spathulata spectabilis from my own plant and then uh, if we go around this side um, we've got blue and red which is Loei tentaculata from my own plant own plants and then right at the end all these at the very end here have all been done with Maxima wavy because I just didn't want to waste the pollen and I didn't want to waste the seed pods um, so there's a lot of Maxima wavy I think probably about oof, well, I'd say there's, I'd say there's easily on this stalk there is easily eighty pods, and I've probably done around forty maximum wavy, and I wasn't going to sell any. I'm just going to sell them, I think, because in there somewhere there will be a gem. In there somewhere there will be a gem. Of a, of a plant it'll be a mutation it'll be um, something completely off the charts as as I've found with growing stuff from seed you'll get if you sow 100 seeds you'll get 98 that look pretty much all the same and then you'll get two that are completely nothing like what what the rest look like and they will be complete mutants um here's an example check this out this thing is absolutely amazing look at the colors on that i'm in i'm totally besotted with this plant yeah 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 people say oh well it's it's just a it's a it's a viking wrath but look at the colors on it and uh, me and Penda decided to name this Anchor Explosion or Anchor Burst because the yellow reminds Penda of Anchor Butter and it looks like it's kind of exploding and bursting out. So we get Anchor Burst or Anchor Explosion, which are, I think Anchor Burst sounds better. So I think we'll name it that. Um, we'll go with that and that'll be far easier than reading that lot out. That's what that cross is. So, but um, the other cross that uh, that I've got, which are prolific, uh, are this Thorelli Vicho Barrio, Vicho Barrio, Cochinea, Glandulifera, Boschiana, Northiana. Now, um, if you've seen Cochinea, Cochinea, I think I'm saying it right. That is classic Cochinea there. If you Google the plant, this has got a lot of that in it. Yeah, I've not seen very much glandulifera at all in this plant. Um, yet from the same seed pod as that came this. Totally different. It looks nothing like those. Yet it came from exactly the same seed pod. If anything, it looks more like the raff. The leaves look more like the raff. So that means could I have mixed up seeds, which I doubt because I sowed them on different days. This one does have, although I do say this one does have a little bit of striping down there, but they've all got the same red ring around the inside of the peristome, which are, I find really weird. But this definitely came from the same pod as those. 
yet it's thrown out a, a bit of a mutant. So, be interesting to see what that ends up like. We shall see. Oh, down here we've got a, uh, a Viking Velosa off Will. Thank you, Will. It's really starting to uh, really starting to look good now. Good and toothy. Also got down here, which are really picking up now. Uh, I got gifted these. Uh, reach our big mama Akazukin cross. What's that? Akazukin cross barrio. Akazuki and Cross Barrio. Those are, these were tiny when I got them and they are literally just starting to, uh, just starting to get stuck in now. No striping yet, but uh, signs that there has been a tiny slug on that peristome, drinking up all the nectar. We shall find him. He will not escape. Um, over here, Loeoi, Loeoi, Burb Loeoi, has, uh, has finally started to pick up. It looked, it looked really sad for a while, um, but it's now just brought another new leaf over here. Sorry, shit camera work, do apologise. Just brought another new leaf over there. So, uh, also what we've got over here is the Burb Hariana. Looking good, chuffed with that. Right next to it, these are Palawanensis Atamburioi. And uh, I'm really happy with these. These have come on such a lot um, over the last few weeks. They really have come on. They're really loving life, and they're loving being up on this top, on this slightly warmer shelf, as is Macrophylla. It's uh, it seems to be loving this slightly warmer temperatures. So more, more intermediate up here, really. Um, the Bird Velosa as well. Bervilosa seems to be loving life up here where it's just slightly warmer, which has surprised me. I thought it would have been uh, I thought it would have been happier down slightly cooler. But I'm not as I say, if it ain't broke down fix it, so I ain't gonna move it, leave it as is. I've got that Baikal has just popped overnight and it's just starting to inflate. Boycal, I wasn't really, I wasn't really a massive fan of Boycal. I just saw it and thought, yeah, I could take or leave it to be honest. However, exactly the same as the Clippy Otter. Uh, Clippy Otter, I could take or leave. I wasn't really bothered with it. It wasn't really my thing. It wasn't my joy. I was, yeah, they look okay, but. Um, until, I've, until I owned one, and now I'm a massive Clippy Otter fan. I absolutely love these plants. I think they are just fantastic. Um, I'm a, I am a massive Clip fan, and the same as Baikal now. Until I owned one, I was like, yeah, well, I can take or leave them. And then I've owned one, and I'm like, yeah, I love Baikal. Uh, I've got three, uh, actually I've got one, two boy Cal, I've got this orange, I've got this Brunei red, uh, got, this was some Amshia carnivores, uh, lovely Brunei red, and the fangs are, let me zoom in, if I can, get down there, the fangs are bright red, and it's a stunner, and this one is going to be, Where's the fangs? Can't see them. They're under there, though. There they are. Yes. Beautiful. So that's uh, that's inflating nicely. Let's hang it over there so it inflates. 
unimpeded. Yeah, so everything's doing well up here on the top shelf. Um, VCI black lip. Uh, I think this is VCI M cross black lip. And those are coming out striped. Everything is striped. Stripe, stripe, stripe. Stripey stripes, yes. These are going to be impressive. Um, these, them, those are going to be really impressive. And now they are. I'm just praying. I'm praying and hoping that we get uh, we get flaring um, like the mother and striping like the mother. And I'm hoping that the stripes have black in them. So we get we get the red, we get the purple, and we get black. That how, how amazing is that going to be? Um, so fingers crossed on that. Over here we've got Polka Pell Tartar. Oops, which is doing really well. Check this bad bad word. This is a Mark Rose Cross, and there are only five of these in the UK. That's all there is. Five. I've got one. Mark's got one, and Pender's got three. Um, Mark made the cross and he was fair play to him, good lad. Um, he was good enough to give me a few seeds and I think I had about, I think I had about four germinate. Unfortunately, um, I only had one that made it and it struggled for the longest time. But now it's, it's obviously built itself a bit of a root base and it's, it's, off, at the, it's off at the races now, it's really going for it. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, other ones to watch are, now, do you reckon you can see teeth on this? I think I can. I think there's teeth there. Those are the uh, Jeff Wong Maxima cross Haryana. And just hoping and praying that uh, we do get some Haryana teeth because the, I mean, I think there is a, there is somewhat a myth that I don't know if it, how much truth is in it, that Haryana doesn't carry across its teeth into other crosses, but we'll see, we will see. Um, bear with me, got to turn the. Uh, humidifier off before we can't see anything that's off uh, right where were we before we got uh, sidetracked supernova supernova we've got emergence of a growth tip that's happened over the last eight days and it's growing really fast this is a fast growing plant um, right next to it, we've got uh, Lingulata Vici from EP, and um, this one's uh, this one's putting out a growth point as well. You'll notice I've got lots of these little pots everywhere. They are the Viking raft crosses seedlings that have been down down on the bottom or on the floor. Um, and they've started to decline because they it's too cold. So I've bought them up and within a couple of days of bringing them up, boom, they're loving life up here and they're away at the races. So uh, all good, all good. Let me uh, see if I can stretch around here. What else we got around here? We've got undulata folia down here. Just brought a little, uh, a little dumpling. Of a picture, not that one, this one, and uh, do 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 spectabilis giant cross velosa had a bit of a hiccup, um, repotted it, and it's it's picking up again. Had a bit of a dodgy leaf there, and I thought uh, pests, but there's nothing on it at all. Checked it everywhere, there's nothing on it. So I can only put it down to some sort of conditional 
uh, the conditions weren't right. Uh, too dry, too light. I don't know. Some something has upset it, but it's back to putting out normal leaves now. So all's good. Nothing to uh, nothing to get too stressed about. Um, I've also repotted a lot of uh, what are they? Number they are number two down here. These are. Uh, let me think, let me think. Rocco, Bosciana, uh, Loei, Vici, uh, Bosciana, Northiana. So, very complex, growing really fast. Um, really, really fast. Uh, we leave jumping all over the place. So, they've all been repotted. Um, I've still got some to do which will probably fill this shelf completely. Uh, and then over this side, we've got more Sung and Melancholy, more of the Sung and Melancholy crosses. Um, this is what I mean by the the brown colour. If I zoom in. That's the, the, that's the slightly browner colour than the, the one up top which is more pink. Um, these seem to have more of a, a reddish, brownish colour. And the pictures, the peristones, are a different shape and a different colour. So, um, I'm also now trialling Cocoa Husk again. Cocoa Husk, Perlite, Akadama, Kanuma, Pumice and uh, Lava Rock. So a lot of uh, quite a lot of the seedlings that are being repotted are going to go into that. These lot have got to be done down here. These are all to be repotted. All these, all these. Uh, there's a load down there that need to be repotted as well. Um, oh, is that, is that a new picture? Ooh, 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 what we got here? Is that new? Ooh, let's have a look. This is a Matt Richardson Singalana Babidi. I don't think it's a new picture, but it's still a stunner. Um, actually, that's a newer picture. Check that out. Yeah, oh yeah. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. It's a nice. Loving that. That's a Mac Cross. MDR. MDR1. Lovely job, he. He's a bit good. He's pretty good, he's our Matt. He's, uh, he's good at what he does. And down here. Oh, I Oh yeah, I feel absolutely awful. I feel absolutely awful. I've missed somebody out in the shout. That's uh, Vigelii, by the way. I have missed somebody out and I do apologise. Danny? Danny Z? How dare I? How dare I miss him out? My main man. It's still here, Dan. It's still here. When you're ready, give me the shout. Give me the no oh, it's actually it's pretty a new picture. Look at this, Dan. Let's get it up in the light. Oh, nice. Wow. Very nice. I do apologise, Danny. I forgot that's uh, my mate Danny Zukovitz. I think his name is. And uh, somebody else I forgot as well, Tom. Tom from Tom's Carnivals. Um, that's uh, Veloso Marta. I meant to mention at the beginning of this video, uh, let me find something to focus on while I'm yakking. Um, let's just look over this way. Uh, Tom, if you, haven't, if you haven't been over there, Tom's Carnivals, get yourself over to Tom's Carnivals. Go and have a read of his blog. It's fantastic. He's also developed. Now, this is where... 
it blows my mind um, absolutely blows my mind he's developed in in partnership with, with a friend I believe it is uh, this program this computer program whereby you put in a picture of uh, a picture and it identifies the picture and it blew me away I, I was playing on it for probably a good hour and in that time it got virtually everyone right and the, the only ones it got wrong the actual picture came up in the description anyway because it, it works on percentages so if I put a for instance uh, a picture of Hamata and then pressed go it would basically come back and say um, that it was 99.9% .9 sure that this was Hamata so I did one I can't remember what the plan was but I did one and it came back and it basically said that it was um, something like 85% sure it was this plant and then 20 odd percent sure it was something else so it came back in the percentages and it was the right plant anyway so get yourself over there go and have a look check it out it's a uh, tom's tom's carnivores he's got um he's got a lot of good stuff on there the blog and everything else and um there's the uh the plant temperature range scale of all plants where where they grow what kind of elevation they grow at temperatures etc etc et so get yourselves over there i'm going to drop a link in the description um if i can uh, if i can work out how, how to do it i'm gonna get my son to show me how to do it and i'll drop a link in the description so you can find your way over there but uh yeah definitely well worth a look tom you're a top lad and uh thanks for the uh the supernova mate fantastic i'm a happy 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 camper so let's move on shall we i mean uh, sorted that out uh, i forgot about that let's move along oh sorry sidetracked i know what i was going to show you what do you think is hidden in there in that big fat bulge uh, well, I'll save you guessing. In that big fat bulge is a big fat female flower spike of the Truncata giant cross eye. Yep, she's flowering. Good girl. Good, good girl. We're going to get a flower from her. I am so chuffed. Absolutely, absolutely buzzing. There is a flower in there, and I reckon probably uh, a couple of weeks and we should see it. So, well chuffed with that. Right, let's, uh, let's go look in. We have here Vichyoi Mira Babedi. They are, I am, it's a love-hate relationship with this plant. It really is. I, I, I really don't know what to make of it. It's, it's slightly getting better, but it's still got a long go. It's got a long way to, to, to win me over. We've got a new picture on trunk, Edwardsiana. Looking good. Looking very good. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Ah, that's what I was on about. I was going to tell you before I. I'm sorry, my uh, my ADH bra ADHD brain just it just flicks from one thing to another and then back again and then from one thing to another. I can't keep a single thing in my head for more than ten minutes. Uh, this is Vichy Burb from EP and uh, not your average VCI burb and it's just putting out a picture now working on a picture um, new leaf as well when I got this it had got it did have a picture on it and they are the most amazing tubby little squat pictures they look fantastic so I can't wait for that to uh, 
to put a picture out. Tentac, one of my favourite plants. Tentaculata, absolutely gorgeous. I love this plant. I do love Tentac. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. Uh, down here, we have, now I do like this one as well. Um, not your average. Just stand there for a second. It is completely uh, overgrown by, uh, look at that. We've got going in here, we've got blue star fern. We've then got some other fern and another blue star fern but the actual uh, occupant of the pot is a truncata red i believe it is by aristolacoides and look at that peristome ain't that gorgeous truncata red by aristolacoides Puts out the most amazing pictures and they get massive over time and you, you can already see i mean you can see how big these are going to get the, this that's going to be a special plant when it gets bigger it really is can't wait can't wait let's just tuck you in there for a minute while i'm there uh, while daddy's messing about uh oh i don't know if i had this in the last video or not the elbow marginata cutting. That's tidy, isn't it? That's uh, that's a, a proper tidy plant. That loving that plant. That's nice. Uh, it's a nice contrast to the big red that I've got. Again, these are these are supposed to be lowland plants, but I mean this this thing's just covered in pictures. It pictures and pictures and pictures. It puts about left, right, and centre. Um, have we covered everything on this bench that we want to cover? I think we probably ah, lowy oi, uh, muluensis lowy oi. If anybody's growing Muluensis Lowii, mine just doesn't seem happy. I've moved it over here from the other side. Um, it's picturing, but we've got small leaf, uh, small lid syndrome. But apart from that, it looks okay. Uh, there's no pest issues checked, and it's been treated just in case. Um, but it just. I don't know what it is, but they are, I mean, they are slow growing plants anyway. Um, you've got, you've got two, two pretty slow parents, I think, Muluensis and Loeoi, so not expecting it to race off like a racehorse, but mm, I don't know. If you've got one, tell me, let me know in the comments if that looks about right to you for that size. Um, Always interested to uh, to find out. Ooh, what else we want? Nothing really much left up there. So I think we've gone over this. Um, I randomly stuck this black miracle up on the wall up here, just to make sure it's warm enough, and it does appear indeed to be warm enough and uh, I'm pretty happy. It's, it's putting out decent sized pictures anyway. Um, it's put out two since it's been up there, so it's clearly, it's gonna be a few, it's gonna be a few degrees higher in temperature up there where it is, so um, it must be happy. I've treated everything as well with uh, fluoromite uh, just in case now I haven't seen 
any mites. I haven't actually seen any mites. I'll, I'll stress that straight away. However, I have seen, a, uh, well, I can't say I've seen evidence of mites because I haven't seen, I've, I've not seen any mites, but I've seen a couple of leaves on a couple of plants and I've thought, mm, that looks a bit suspect. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna treat and I've just treated everything uh, just to be, you know, just to be sure that, oh, hang on, what's this? What plant's this? Uh, what plant is, oh, it's, that's Loey Oitentac. I'm looking at something else then. Yeah, just to be sure, um, I have literally just treated everything and that fluoramide is expensive stuff you get five mil for 17 quid so it's not cheap stuff but uh it, it does come highly recommended so i gave every and to be fair five mil into 10 liters of water it goes a long way and it's really thick as well it's like milk when you dilute it and um it does go a really long way and you can probably still see evidence of it on the leaves. It kills on contact and it kills the eggs as well uh, or anything in the substrate. So you spray the leaves, you spray underneath the leaves and you spray the top of the substrate and it, it's supposed to kill everything on contact, any mites on contact. So, and then you do it again two weeks after. So uh, hopefully I will be completely clear of anything crawling we will see uh we've got a new pop over here which i need to show you check this out there we go vichai burb looking stunning uh we've also got low eye bosch up the top here which has just popped nice big upper picture um uh, right behind it we have got a honking great Truncata, which has just popped as well. That's a uh, Truncata red flush. I am actually gonna fish that out of it in a bit and uh, pop it to the front so it gets plenty of light. And uh, it's looking, it is looking good, isn't it? It's looking really good. And we've got Mammoth. I've got Mammoth pictures everywhere. They are literally popping up all over the place. So it's all, there's a lot going on on that, hell of a lot going on on that shelf. Um, it's really busy at the moment. Uh, the big Truncata, Campanulata, Vici the Wave. You know the one. Let go, let go, let go. That one. Yeah, look at the size of this plant. That was sown in March last year. So it's what, 18, 19 months old? It's not, it's not even two years old yet. Look at the size of it. It's ridiculous. This thing is just, I'm pretty sure it probably needs repotting again. Um, I can actually see roots up on the surface. So I'm pretty sure it probably needs repotting again, but what a plant, what a plant. And uh, Roger Rob is, uh, is having a bit of a spurt as well. It's put out these two massive green leaves, one after the other. Look at that. What else we got down here? Everything is We've got new leaves going on everywhere. We've got new leaves here. We've got new leaves on Rob. Again. Uh, we've got a picture on Rob. That popped the other day. Gorgeous. Uh, ten, tenuous. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, you little darling. That is absolutely stunning. 
what a plant what a plant uh, new leaf on Roger Eddy as well um, We're going to ignore this, are we? We can't ignore this. We can't ignore Mixter, can we? We just can't. Look at it. You can't ignore that, can you? The plant that keeps on giving. Now, I. Uh, if you want to, if you want to see what difference um, light makes to developing pictures. Um, i.e. colours what difference lighting makes to the colours on pictures is a classic example this side red pattern turn it round no pattern side facing away from the light has got nothing side facing the light lovely red pattern and the same applies this one red pattern on one side no pattern on the other. So there is your uh, there is your evidence of what light does to pictures. Uh, we've got Jacqueline A. Rob down here. Not its best pictures, uh, or not its best picture. Um, it has had a better one than that. It was much bigger, and it was big, thick black peristone. Looks gorgeous. And we've got. Got here. Eustacia tenuous, and that gorgeous, gorgeous green peristone. Beautiful. Oops. This is the. Uh, this is probably the big. Well, is it? No, it's not the biggest. Uh, the biggest is down there. This is the AMAJB cross. Um, that picture is gorgeous. It's gone over a little bit now, but the, the red was absolutely vivid red. Really, really vivid red. Uh, I think the biggest one is down here somewhere in amongst this lot. We'll dive into that lot on a different occasion, as will we dive into this lot on a different... Oh! Ooh! We have a pop on Lingulata. Yep, there's the tongue. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. See the tongue under there? Gorgeous. Oh, what a plant. What a plant. Right next to the hairiest peltata in the world. <laughs> that thing is just so hairy. It's unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, a lot of this is for a different day. And same over there. That's for a different day. Uh, yeah. Velosa has all been moved. All the Velosa stuff been moved down there, so that's for a different day as well. Um, make for another video. So, folks, we are an hour over, and uh, I think I'm going to call it at this point um, because I'm going to go in and do. Well, I'm going to do some cuttings, if I'm honest. There's a couple of plants in here that need lopping. So I've already done a load. Um, so there's a few things here now I'm going to start lopping. Uh, Lowy Eye Ten Tack. Um, that's got to go. That's got to be lopped. Um, Maxim has already been lopped. Those are all bagged up and hopefully growing well. And I've also got another load of Maxima down there that I'm trying in water. So I've got, I've got about 10 cuttings in water and I've got about 8 cuttings bagged up down there 
um, in uh, peat, peat and perlite. So see which ones root first and which ones root the quickest. Um, as a bit of an experiment, see what happens. Right then, folks, I'm going to uh, I'm going to call it today. Go and upload this for you, for your viewing pleasure, and uh, I shall no doubt catch you later down the line. Um, Breck, Breck. I, I, I see. I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, hopefully, I'll pronounce it right. Um, and a good day to all of you, Tom, Penna, Dom, uh, Ben. Uh, Angie, Danny Z, Timmy, Two Timmies, Amori, Hero, yeah, big shout out to Hero actually. Hero, your pot is uh, is almost ready to be fired, and as soon as it's fired, it'll be on its way up to you. Um, but look forward to seeing you again, Hero. Uh, very, very good to meet you. Um, who else is there? Who else has commented? And I can't think who. Uh, Coop. Coop's Carnivores. Shout out to Coop. Uh, he's, a, he's a fan. Coop. He always watches the videos. Uh, trying to think who's commented. Who's commented before on the videos. Anyway, to all you. All those that have commented. A big shout out. And I did notice. Uh, that I have got. A lot of. Of regular viewers when I look through the analytics I've got a lot of regular viewers that view my videos loads I can't believe how many of you there is however 48% of you are subscribed the other 52 aren't so what is that what why aren't you subscribed all you gotta do is push a button it don't cost you anything I'm not gonna come knocking at your door I'm not looking. I'm not looking through your computer screen at night. Or just subscribe. It would. It would do me the world of good, and it would push me up over the 500 mark, which would uh, mean a massive milestone for me. To be fair, so please, 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 if you're not already, please subscribe. Do me that favour. Right, folks. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to call this one and go and upload it, and then I'll probably. Uh, work on another one because there's all the uh, there's all the lower part to do yet we haven't looked around the lower part so yeah I'll probably uh, upload this and then come straight back in um, and have a go at another one I don't know if I can't remember now my memory is that bad but um, me and the missus have tested positive today for COVID so we're not doing a great deal I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning um, but I've got a really sore throat and uh, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm currently, I feel like I'm standing on a boat and everything is rocking from side to side. So not good, not good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and sit down. I'm going to upload this, sit down, have a cup of tea and I'll, uh, I'll see you all soon. So much love. I'm out. <laughs>